Pastor John Mwangangi. Mm -hmm. Welcome so much to the studio. We are so honored to have mm -hmm. you Thank today. You. Yes, how are you? I'm very fine mm -hmm. uh, this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Born again and uh, with a passion mm -hmm. to continue serving God mm -hmm. in his vineyard. Ah. The Bible says that uh, the harvest is plenty, plenty but the servants are a few. A few. Yeah. So yeah. I'm one of uh, the few trying to champion for more in the kingdom. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I love the energy. Yes, to yes. champion up. Yeah. I love the energy. Apo kwa kusavu. <laughs> Wenye tu ni kwa kusavu. Wenye sema kusavu. Yes, serving. Uwe unasavu. Yes. Uku sema unasavu. Na pido. Nilisema I love uh, serving. Everywhere. Yeah, that is what I'm passionate about. But in and what capacity? Champion. You know, that's the question serving. we want. Oh, that's the oh, question yes. we are asking. Now, and we want, to mm. an, we want the answers. <laughs> yes. In what capacity? You cannot, you cannot just serve. Everywhere everything, on every everything. Every yes. at least there's something mm. there. There is one uh, one area that you serve, yes. and God has released grace in that area that you serve with so passionately, mm. so passionately that you will not feel anything about it. Mm. Yes, well, okay, Pastor John, yes. so where do you serve? Maybe you can just mm. let us know. You, of course, you've known your name, but where do you serve in what capacity? When did you begin serving? Okay, mm. uh, I serve at City of Refuge Assembly, Siokimau. Mm. Mm. And uh, the grace of, um, okay, by God's grace, mm. under the leadership of Reverend Dr. Joshua Malili, mm. I started serving, uh, it's quite many years back. <laughs> In fact, uh, the <laughs> guest... <laughs> many years, many years, <laughs> uh, I, I can uh, yeah. track back to 2011, mm. serious. Mm. Because wow. by God's grace, um, those people mm. are born and you find yourself... Uh, in church corridors. Mm. Mm. Therefore, by God's grace, you find yourself loving this thing. Mm. You, f you start making sense of the word of God, which mm. uh, your parents and the church leaders mm. are giving. Then all of a sudden you find, wow, Kumpe, mm. the idea of God's love and what God did to humanity is real. Mm. Then you just swing in it and up to today. Mm. In fact, uh, the guest uh, singer mm. was here. Ben C. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> One thing you don't know, you are in the same high school. Maybe you can't remember. Ah, oh, yeah. Ben C. Yeah. Ben C. Ajayenda, let's see what you Ben C, do you remember? <laughs> yeah, he, was, he was one class ahead of me. Yeah. I used to be in the CU. Mm. Uh -huh. He was in the CU. Yeah, and I'll talk something on uh, how we are supposed to serve God. Mm. Back then is when the uh, its roots started uh, mushrooming. Mm. Yeah, and how I wish we knew mm. God will bring him this far. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. He was in the CU mm. and, he, and Ben C was not. Mm. Okay, but when you should like you to go to Nashanga, where? <laughs> Bensi ya kuwa CEO high school. Kwa na Bensi ya na chungulia kitu point. Tunakuona sana Bensi. By 2011, unasema you were born and raised in church. But at what point did you get born again? Unajua mtu una, kwanza wale wanyala kwanga born and raised in church. Hata wajuangi wali wali wako kalini. They can't track it. Yes. But can you track your salvation day? Yeah, I can track my salvation day. Yes. Okay, uh, you see, when you are like in Sunday school, mm. it's like you get born again mm. like every day. Mm. <laughs> but uh, I can say in 2011, yeah. when I was in Form 3, mm. is when I got clearer and with depth understanding mm. what uh, believing Christ with your heart mm. and confessing him with your mouth, mm. what it means. Mm. And at that point is when I, I made that declaration, both verbally and also uh, from within my, my inner being, my spirit. Mm. Then from that, uh, the Holy Spirit... Uh, settled in me and then he started uh, uh, allowing me to understand the basics of salvation. Mm -hmm. Then from there, uh, then he started uh, growing me step by step to service. That's why I'm, I was saying I was in the CU as a leader there. Mm -hmm. Then from there to campus, still serving God. Mm -hmm. Then after campus, now to church, church ministry, what I'm doing currently. All right. Yeah. Hey, that is a lot mm. of a long time of serving God, and you never gave up, gave up along the way. Yeah. Just being consistent. I'm like, I forgot. Many finishers are not to on Okay. Uh, as you serve God, eh? mm. uh, of course, it's a journey. Mm. I remember my pastor back then at uh, Shags from Akueni, mm. Redeemed Gospel Church, mm. place called Nunguni, mm -hmm. used to tell us that salvation is not a sprint, it's not 100 meters, mm. but it's a marathon. Mm. So along the, uh, along the marathon, of course, even as marathoners run, <laughs> sometimes mm. they'll feel dusty. Yes. You need someone to give you some water. Yeah, exactly. So along the way, there are setbacks, but as far as you are fixed mm. to the final hope of your calling, mm. which is life after this life. Mm. You find that you, are, or you have a reason to stand, you have a reason to continue 
pushing and trusting in God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it is not easy, but once grace is sufficient, mm -hmm. you find a way to you find a way and strength to make it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Apo Kando, you told me that you are a banker. Yeah. But here you are telling us you are a pastor. Okay. At what point did you now decide to go into ministry? Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, in ministry, mm -hmm. there's full time ministry, mm -hmm. and there is okay. People call it partial. But let me call it joint, whereby you can maybe be in ministry at church and also you can be working. Mm. Because you see at the end of the day, uh, Paul said, uh, those people are not willing to work, they are not supposed to do it, to eat. Mm. So banking is my occupation, my career from what I've been trained. Uh, but there I'm, I'm, I'm a trained economist. Uh -huh. <laughs> so from that, that's why I'm in the banking sector for now. Mm. And also I, do, I also do ministry at church. Currently I'm doing both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, okay, inclusive of what I do at church, I also have a passion, even though we will still touch this when we'll be talking on today's topic, I have a mm. passion for life coaching and talking with young people. So church, talking with young people, then banking. And it, it has been a nice mix, and I cannot regret. Yeah, mm. yeah. All right. And you've also authored, is it a book yeah, called yeah. Untold, Teenage Gold Told? Yeah, I wrote that uh, uh, book by yeah. the name Untold Teenage Gold Told. Mm. Okay, I decided to write that book after I had around three years going through high schools and talking to young people. Now, when I discovered uh, the challenges which they were going through, and most of them were common, I found out that I cannot reach all schools in Kenya. But when I sit down and download ideas of that book, which are solutions to the problems they have, uh, that book would travel a vast distance than yes. me and will reach many more young people. Mm. So that's why I wrote that book and it's a good book because yeah. uh, maybe I can say uh, in, a, in a, a second what it entails. Yeah. Number one, it assists young people mm. understand what is their mm. uh, gifts and what are their talents or their unique abilities. Mm. Then it shows them how they can turn those unique abilities into solutions which can solve society's problem as at now. Mm. Then it shows them uh, some examples of people in the Bible and also in the real world who discovered their gifts and their talents while young and then they mastered and sharpened them to a point where they served the world and, uh, in an amazing way. And it finishes with some of the things which corrodes talents or which uh, makes young people who had talents or discovered their talents uh, miss the mark, miss the way, and they don't make it. And then how to avoid those, uh, uh -uh. those uh, uh, stuff. Amazing. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. when Pastor Pastor Bob told me about you, in the spirit the spirit was just leading, leading me to talk. You know what? I talk about serving God and gifts with you. I didn't know you were so passionate about mm. it <laughs> to that depth. That is really amazing. And mm -hmm. you serve God in different capacity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And today on our topic we're just asking guys how they can serve God. And serving God is guys are like, you know, with young people we have a lot of free time which we can use it to serve God. But, but first of all, how can you define even a gift? What is a gift? Okay, let me, yes. define, let yes. me define a gift for yes. you. Mm. Okay, I can define a gift as a natural ability mm. which is God-given and which makes you, whenever you, you, you decide or you commit yourself to do something, uh, after you have done that particular thing, like you excel, you excel in that thing without struggle. Or you excel better than your immediate circle. Mm. That is how you can discover what your gift is or what your talent is. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That is amazing. Now, mm. make sure Majua. Yes, yes. <laughs> I think Nisha, you are aware hey. I should, you know, mm. I should align my service. Mm -hmm. Yes, Nisha, <laughs> happy, but where, but also where grace is bestowed upon me, mm. eh, Nisha, you are happy. <laughs> but you interacting with the young ones, eh? when can someone start serving? Especially in church, when can someone, is there an age limit? Because I've interacted with guys who are like, ah, kusabu wacha nitanza, kusabu nikiwa 50, nikiwa 40, unajua sayi mi nikijana wacha nikuleraha, wacha tu nikujenge service, nishi home, but serving, wacha tu nitanza kusabu nikiwa 50. When do you recommend a young person should start serving God? Okay, let me start it from here. Mm. I think there are two things which qualifies any person to serve, yeah. especially young people. Mm. The first thing is ability, and then the second thing is passion. Now, ability, this is the, the most common thing which qualifies anyone, because as far as you are physically fit, you are able to do something. 
can be wiping chairs, it can be maybe singing, it can be ushering people in the church. So there are things which you'll find uh, at church, regardless of your age. Even if you are three years, four years, five years, you can do. Because as far as you are physically fit, you have the ability to do them. Then number two is passion, whereby you start discovering that there's something which you love naturally doing best mm. and you're not interested with the rest and when you discover that area of passion just go to church look at which area it fits most mm. then start applying that passion in that particular area yeah in, in that you can serve god in an amazing way mm. and i believe that's why we, we we know some musicians currently who are serving god globally with their music mm. who start, their, their journey was at church yes. so i believe the church, apart from being a place where we go and hear the word of God, I am tempted to, be, to believe mm. is one of the best platforms where one can discover their talent, their gift, and they start there and they go global. Amazing. Yeah. That atunona Bensi Alianzia High School, mm. which exactly. is nice. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 Oh, Pengna alikuwa na imba. Praise and worship. Anyway, he will tell us. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Whatever you can use your gift to serve God in whatever capacity. You guys, don't just waste your time like that. Serve, serve, serve God in all that you have. You're serving in church. Kuna wale wanyo lianzia present worship. Kuna wale wana serve in Sunday school. Sunday school, yeah, it's a good ministry. <laughs> okay. right. serve, yeah. Yes, it's, it's a good <laughs> ministry to serve. But there's one guy on Facebook mm. who has mentioned that he serves God by farming. <laughs> that was an interesting comment by the way. He says God in farming. But maybe uh, yeah. by the end a kuwa, he brings uh produce yak and you mm. and a letanga canisani. Maybe yata yo chakula and you know pikangwa church. Mm. You know, you know, you never know, yeah. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. yeah. But uh hey. let me let me why you're farming. Yeah, yeah, let me give him a, a very big tick on that. Hey. The guy is very right. Hey. You see, I came to discover mm. uh whenever you discover your passion, mm. in fact it it is not a must that it be related to church stuff. Yes. It can be in technology, it can be in farming like yes. him. Yeah. But you find that at the end prod at the end uh, result, mm. what God has given you a passion for, it ends up so so solving people's problems. Yes, yes. That guy, if his passion is farming, whenever he does uh, the farming, then he harvests. When he takes the produce to the market, market people's problem of what? Of anchor mm. is sorted. <laughs> mm. And by that, uh, the way God created the world yes. to function successfully at, yes. it's functioning. Mm. And when uh, uh, what God created is functioning well, mm. glory is going to him. Wow. And the guy is serving God. Yeah. So it's very right. Yeah. You can <laughs> serve God in whichever area. Same as doctors. Uh, exactly. Engineers. Exactly. We have engineers. Even church. Yes, yeah. But they're serving, serving God with that cause. You know, we have engineers. We have engineers in church. Fixing mm. the machines in church. Exactly. Yes. Architects. We have exactly. exactly. architects. We have a church. We have a church. Yes, exactly. We have a church. We have a church. lawyers. Exactly. They are lawyers of the church. Yes. And that's why we are florists. Sini wani wasi floris wani farmer mimi farmer mwenye amepanda maua but Pastor John will be sharing yeah. the word with us but mm. guys would like to interact with you and even find out where they can mm. get that book Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes, maybe you can just mention all your social media platform kuna Facebook, kuna Twitter, Instagram, zote. Okay. I did come out on YouTube. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. Let me start here. You can get me on my social media platforms. One, Facebook I'm John Babu. Then I have a, a page by the name Making Life Alive INT. Also I'm on YouTube Making Life Alive International. You can get videos mm. of advisory and such. Yeah. Um I also do some blogging once in a while. Mm. So if you go to the internet and uh just type Making Life a Life International, you'll get some of my articles. Now, about my book, it's called Untold Teenage Gold Told. You can get it uh, in bookshops. You can also uh, request it from any of my social media platforms. Also on Twitter, I had forgotten, mm. John Mwankanki. Instagram, John Mwankanki. All right. Thank Amazing, you. guys. If you've been inspired by him, just go head over to his socials and interact with him and also ask him as many questions and also how you can get his book. And 
mentorship pia si ndio you are into mentorship yeah. he will be able to mentor you but they ukitaka kwa mentored na jua kitu moja siri moja ni kupasu yeah, kupasu true. the uh, mentor you don't true. let you don't sit back and wait, wait for to, the mentor to, to, yeah. to pursue you yeah, sure, it doesn't sure, sure. work like that's the other way around and you've been talking about pensi savi